In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up this small Harvest Right freeze dryer with an oil free pump. So, the first step I'm going to do right here is remove the rubber gasket so I can take out the rack from the inside. Once the rack is removed, I'm going to go ahead and clean and sanitize it, insert the rack back in. I went ahead and ran the rubber gasket under some warm water and wiped it dry and then set it back into the fitting. I took the same cleaning solution and wiped off the inside of the door and closed it shut. The next step is attaching the vacuum hose. This is really easy to do. It's like attaching a garden hose. You need to make sure the vacuum hose is sealed nice and tight so there's a good vacuum seal when the machine is running. The next step is we're gonna plug in the cord that goes into the vacuum pump and then plug it into the back of the freeze dryer. And then once that's done, we're gonna plug in the power cord to the back of the freeze dryer and then plug it into the outlet. Once that's done, I'm gonna take the drain valve and pull it out of the unit. I'm gonna make sure it is in the closed position and I'm gonna take the other end of the hose and put it in a five gallon bucket for it to drain into. The next step, I'm gonna turn on the vacuum pump into the on position followed by the freeze dryer into the on position as well. After that's done, it's gonna take you to the home screen. I went ahead and clicked system name and typed in our custom name here. So after this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and begin my functional testing. My model came with the oil-free pump, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the oil-free pump button. And at this point, you don't wanna to forget to make sure the drain valve is closed. On the home screen, I went ahead and clicked the leaf in the top left corner, and then I toggled the freeze option to on. After I let the freeze dryer run for 30 minutes on freeze, I went ahead and turned the vacuum toggle to on. And as you can see here, the vacuum pump turns on and makes a really loud buzzing sound. What you want to see here when the vacuum is on is the pressure go below 500 mTOR. That indicates that there are no leaks and the machine is running perfectly. So after the functional testing is done, I'm going to go ahead and start my bread test. So the instruction manual says to lightly moisten your bread, so I go ahead and do that with a spray bottle and go ahead and stick the trays in the freeze dryer rack and then press start. After running the bread for a total of 10 hours, that was freeze and dry time. And I feel like the bread is perfectly dry as you can see right here. I do recommend not eating this bread as it probably has absorbed some of the odors and the particulates that come with a new freeze dryer. And overall I feel like the initial tests for the Harvest Right freeze dryer were pretty easy and straightforward.